In this tutorial, we'll look at the ShipBridge interface in greater detail and demonstrate how to customize it so that it works better for you. The ShipBridge interface has three areas, the filter area, the grid area, and the log or notification area. The filter area consists of many filters which can be used to narrow order searches. These include common filters like SKU, order ID, customer name, channel, and company as well as more advanced filters, like multi-item and rush orders, address validated and back orders, and others. Checking and unchecking the Show Filters checkbox will control displaying or hiding the filters. You can select which filters to display. Open the menu and click Customize Interface. Now click Open the Filters tab. By default, all filters will be enabled. Remove filters by unchecking them and then saving your customized settings. Now let's look at the order grid area. The order grid has three tabs, the unshipped tab, the fully shipped tab, and the requires attention tab. Let's look at the grid in the unshipped tab. The grid populates with all open orders, one row for each order. Orders that are configured to ship in multiple packages can be expanded or contracted to reveal and hide the individual line items. Order information is separated by columns. Slide the bar to see all the columns. The order ID column will remain frozen on the left for reference. Columns can also be manually toggled. If you want certain columns to be closer to the front, left click on the column and drag it to a desired position on the row. Information in the columns can be sorted to display orders in succession. Open the menu and click Select Column Grid Sort. Select the tab from the side menu to open a Sort Columns window. Select the column you want to sort from the drop-down. We'll select Time of Order. Now add it to the list. We can select whether the sort should be in descending or ascending order. Save the settings. Now orders will display on the grid in descending order based on the time of order. We can add another column, like location, for example. Now the orders will be sorted by both columns, first by the time of order and then by location. To switch which columns will be sorted first, use the Move Up and Down buttons. When an order contains multiple items being shipped in one package, the item will display one after the other in the SKU and product name cells. Expand the cell length to reveal all items in the shipment by dragging the one side of the cell or clicking between the cells, much like you would do in an Excel spreadsheet. Columns can be displayed or hidden. Open the Customize Interface window and click open the Unship tab or the Ship tab, depending on which grid tab you are configuring. Select Columns to be displayed or hidden by clicking on the Column checkboxes. You could also use the Move Up and Down buttons to move the position of the columns on the row. You can edit the carrier and shipping method selected for an order by selecting from the drop-down list. The drop-down contains all carriers and services, but if you would only use specific shipping carriers or services, you can hide the rest of the shipping methods in the following way. On the Customize Interface window, click open the Shipping Services tab. Now select or uncheck the carriers and services from the top area and the packaging types from the lower area. You can also use these buttons to arrange the order of display in the drop down. Under the GUI tab, you could set other customizations to the interface, like setting the font size or row height. This option will make the grid read only and not allow any editing until the row is checked. Checking this option will move orders to the Fully Ship tab as soon as the label is printed. Without checking this order, you'll need to refresh the grid to move those orders to the Fully Ship tab. Because the shipping department is often more familiar with the product as its warehouse rather than how it's described for listing purposes, these options in the GUI tab can be used to configure how shadow SKUs and kits and their product names will display on ShipBridge. For example, you might sell the same product on multiple listings on Amazon with different merchant SKUs by configuring shadow products. But in ShipBridge, you want to see the consistent internal SKU. 
When selling multi-packs or kits with multiple units of the same component, enabling this option will have the grid display the component SKU with the total number of units instead of just the quantity of the kits ordered. This group of options configure the Requires Attention tab. The Requires Attention tab will display next to the Fully Shipped tab above the order grid when any of these options are enabled. The final tab on the Customize Interface window is the Copy Row Info tab. The Copy Row action from the menu allows you to copy information from one row of the grid to the next. Select which order details you want to copy when using the Copy Row Info action. On the menu, there is an action called Enable Multi-Package Support. This option enables you to manage multi-package shipments within ShipBridge. Multi-package support is discussed in greater detail in another video tutorial. On the General Settings tab, use this option to colorize orders containing items that are low in stock. Set the quantity in this field and select the color. This helps prevent printing a label for items that are not ready to ship. For more information about the ShipBridge interface, please visit wiki.southercloud.com.